one, but I think it's old. It says here that number 29 was supposed to come through at 11.15. Well, it's, it's 11.15, and, but I swear, I just saw it going up the street. I tried to get them to stop. They won't stop. Do you think take two seconds to help somebody? No, they can't. Oh, no, no, no. Can't, can't stop, can't stop. No, I don't recognize you. Mm -mm. I, I don't believe we know each other. This is, this is no use to me. It's obviously not accurate. So I guess now I just get to sit here and wait for another bus to come. Oh, thanks. Yeah, that's, thank you. I like this coat. Yes. I know it's July. I get cold easily. Yeah. <clears throat> What's that? Bus tokens? Uh. Just a minute. I believe I might have one too. In here somewhere. Oh, oops. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have some stuff in the way. I have my little bag here. And, uh, I have to get to my tokens. There's all this. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. My, my grandmother gave me this. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's, um, uh, I'm not exactly sure what kind of stones they are. They're blue and green, aren't they pretty? My grandmother, yes, gave me this for my my birthday. Yeah. And it's stretchy, too. See that? It stretches. And it looks like antique gold. I don't think it's real. Uh, or that's what the appraiser might have told me when I took it to have it checked out. But it's still pretty. Uh. <coughs> uh, hello, officer. Nice day, thank you. Yes. Well, no, I got, I'm cold natured. That's why I'm wearing this, this coat. Yes. Have a good day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Let me put this away. Oh, the bus tokens, right? Um, let me see. I think I have a couple. I do. I have two bus tokens. Well, see, I need them though, cause I gotta, I gotta get across town soon, right? And I need these for that. I don't have a pass. Do you have a pass? You do. I don't have a pass, so I, I, I can't sell you these. No, I can't. I'm sorry. I don't live here. I don't. I don't live around here. No. Uh, I'm. New in town. Maybe staying, maybe passing through, I don't know. It's just a plain shirt. It's a tank top. Right? Oh, yeah? So she's got a birthday coming up? That's nice. What kind of things does she like? Is that so? Hmm. Well have something she'd be interested in she'd like to see. How long have you known this girl? How long have you been going out? Hmm. Well, do you think it would be a little too forward to go with, say, something along the lines of this? Yeah. Mm hmm Sure. Have a look. Uh, it's platinum. Mm-hmm. Real platinum. Mm -hmm. And diamonds? Absolutely. Uh, it's a size four and a half. See, it's very pretty. It sparkles in the light. It's very nice. Very nice. Uh, the, uh, this, I, um, 
Well, we see, what happened was my grandmother passed away. God rest her soul. And she left me this. This is this is from my grandmother's estate. I swear to God. She left me this. And uh, I, I really hate to part with it, but, you know, for somebody special, I might, I might consider it. Absolutely. It has a, uh, a twisted look to it, like that. So the band is not just plain. It has a nice... Uh, twisty look to it. I don't know. I'm sure there's some technical name uh, that jewelers use. Uh, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not very well versed in that kind of stuff. But what do you think? Oh, I could let it go for 1,200, and that includes the box. Look at this fancy box, huh? Look, it's got satin and everything. No, a little too much, a little, a little too soon. That's understandable. Well, maybe we'll go with something a little more tame. You think, did you wait till the last minute to shop for her birthday? Shame on you, man. You're lucky you ran into me. I might have a couple other things in my little bag of tricks here. Of course, you have this, which I already showed you. So this would fall along the lines of being, um, say, costume jewelry. I mean, she likes that kind of thing. Costume jewelry. But it's very pretty. And uh, it's a nice, it's sort of heavy. Not super heavy, but it has a nice uh, weight where, you know, you know as soon as you hold this, you know this is no piece, no cheap piece of jewelry. Very pretty. What color are her eyes? Brown. Mm, they could probably, she could probably pull that off. Don't you think? Very pretty. Five bucks. Five bucks. You want to see what else I have? Okay, no problem. I have this. This is a little more casual, but it's got it's shiny. Uh, it is, but this is made of plastic, which is good because it's lightweight. Very lightweight. Uh, but flashy. It's kind of purple. Mm -hmm. And again, it has elastic to it. A lot of women don't like bangle bracelets. They want something with a little stretch. It's a little more comfortable. It's not so firm and rigid on your arm. Kind of like this. See the one I'm wearing? See? It is just elastic. And very lightweight. Very nice. No, I'm not sweaty at all. I'm fine. Okay. Is there a police station around here? It seems like there are a lot of cops. They walk up and down. Do they? You don't know. I don't know either. A lot of police officers around here. Um, no, this. You can't say no to this. This is just too perfect. It's too, too beautiful for any woman. Any woman would love to get this as a birthday present, don't you think? Okay, absolutely beautiful. It's a uh, silver color with these dark, silvery gray uh, plastic pieces in here. And this is plastic. It looks like glass, but it's actually plastic. And again, it's not a firm bangle. <clears throat> it's not firm. It's stretchy. Like that. What do you think about that? I can let this go for $20. $20. This is a very nice piece. It's very nice. Very expensive. Easily worth $60 to $75. $20 is a steal. I mean, a bargain. Give it a think. And I, I may... I may have something else. I may have some more options for you. I may put these away. I may put these back in my bag. But you let me know if you're interested in any of those bracelets. I got them here. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, uh, just looking around a little bit, that's all. Not going to be good. No, um, a birthday present. In a state. Honest. And these are birthday presents, too. These are a real bargain. 
I'm letting these go really cheap. You know, because I mean, we, we gotta, gotta look out for our girlfriends, right? I'm gonna make sure to treat her right. Give her something special. Take these off one at a time and show you. And I think you'll agree that there are many wonderful choices here. Look at this first one. Yeah, see, these. this is very elegant, very simple, but very beautiful. You have dark blue beads with gunmetal black um, links to the necklace and a very simple hook up at the top. It's, uh, it's not exactly a choker. It's not quite that short, but it's not a super long necklace either. It almost reminds me of rosary beads, just the way it's made. Oh, it's a fire truck. Okay. I'm not, I'm no, see, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a cold-natured, nervous person. No. It's just a fire truck. Okay. So we have this one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep these out. Any of these that strike your, that, that really strike your fancy and make you think, wow, my lady would love that, you let me know. And then there's this one. This is one of my favorites here. This is from Australia. It is an Australian cubic zirconium. Look how big it is. It's shiny. And it has smaller little rhinestones up here. And it comes with a matching uh, cubic um, silver bracelet necklace. It's a cubed design with a weighted chain on it and a lobster claw clasp. Simply beautiful, is it not? Do you think this is something she would like? Something like that? Well, that's okay. I have more. And I would love to show you. One thing that I have is this one here. This, okay, now this is more, this is more simple. Mm -hmm. Look at here. This is a gunmetal black Y. It's called a Y drop necklace because it kind of makes a Y down here. This is a shorter necklace. Most of these are. And it has jewels in it in a purple and pink and clear color. And this one look beautiful with any skin tone. It would look pretty with any outfit. Absolutely beautiful. And again, we have the lobster claw clasp. And a pretty good adjustment here. I mean, you can really adjust this higher or lower quite a bit. That's a good three inches right there that you can adjust it. So this is a very simple, but very elegant necklace. And I have one here, it's caught up in my bobby pin. There we go, or my safety pin. I got it undone. This is a very popular one with young ladies. So I hear. <laughs> this is a joker. Now this one, it's very similar to the Y necklace I just showed you. And it kind of follows the same uh, motif. It has pink and purple, and also red rhinestones and jewels in it. And the design continues almost all the way around the neck. So this will come on around the sides of your neck, and then the back is just plain. And again, with an adjustable chain, so you can make it longer or shorter. You can wear it right up against your neck if you want to. Or you can let it hang down a little bit. So this is very pretty. It has uh, flowers on it. Lots of little flowers. And then just some loose, uh, some gems all by themselves. Oh, all of the, of course, of course, I'm st stealing. No, I would never. I'm a legitimate businesswoman. And Ellen, this isn't even a business. This, you know what? 
I do this for the good of the people. I do this to make people smile. Like you're smiling right now. And your girlfriend will smile if you buy her some of these. No. I, these were all birthday presents. Of course. And that ring was for my grandmother's estate. Honestly. Some people are so quick to judge. Oh, look at this. This is also Australian. This is um, an Australian uh, cubic zirconia pendant with an interesting chain. This is not your typical chain. This is um, a linked chain and some parts of it are twisted and some um, are not. It's very pretty. It's not really adjustable though. You basically just have to hook it there and that's that's just where it goes. You can't you can't really adjust that. But it's very pretty, very shiny. So that's an option for you. And then I have another one here, which I'm gonna fix the little clasp really quick. Boy, there are a lot of sirens around here as well. Oh, oh no, oh no, I thought I saw somebody I knew. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> oh, lots of sirens around here. Mm, that's a fire truck too, I hope. I mean, I think it's a fire truck. Look at this. This is a choker. And again, I have lots of these because, well, because they're pretty. <laughs> That's why I have these. And these, this is mainly purple, kind of a violet purple color. But we have the gem, the little jewels here on both sides of each flower. See? And you have three flowers. One that would be in the middle of your neck and two that would be on the sides. See? And they're the same. They're identical. And then there's a lobster claw clasp in the back. And again, this one is not adjustable either. Unfortunately, it's just, you know, that's that's where you would wear it. But it's still very pretty. Let's see here. They're trying to get mixed up in each other. Oh, I know you're going to like this. I know you're going to like this. And look at this one. Let's see here. This hangs down. Like this. Although you can adjust it a bit up here to make it shorter. So it would spread out a little more at the base of the neck. If you wore it um, a little bit tighter, it would stretch out a little bit more. And look more like that. See? But these stones are purple. But they have a, a lovely sparkle to them. They almost look like outer space to me. It's just beautiful. Very simple chain. And it's attached with links, little metal links on here. And then we have a very simple hook clasp, which is adjustable right here. Um, it has about two inches of adjustment to it. Really pretty. And then this one has a chain similar to the Australian rhinestone pendant. The, the necklace with the rhinestone pendant that I showed you a minute ago. See, it's the same chain, but on the bottom we have a piece of jade. Look how beautiful that is. It's kind of a teardrop pendant. It's very pretty. And it has a little rhinestone at the top. Now all of these are... Um, considered costume jewelry, but they're very well made and they will last for years and years. You have my word on it. But well, I know because my mother gives the best birthday presents and these were all presents to me. Birthday or Christmas. And that's how I know they're wonderful. That's how I can guarantee it because I know my mother and I know the things that she buys for me. Oh, let's see. I might have a few more to show you. Are you interested? Okay. Let me just, um, 
Well, then I figured this is a good way to carry my jewelry, you know, that way it doesn't get stolen. It's not at home, so if anyone breaks into my house, they're not going to take it. That'd be the only, of course, that would be the only reason I would carry them around in my jacket. Well, why else would I do that? Oh, let's see. I have just a few more and then you will have seen all of my inventory. Not, not inventory, uh, my, my jewelry collection. Yeah. This is just my jewelry, my extra jewelry. Right. Now this one is really lovely. This one has a thicker chain to it than some of the other ones I've shown you. The chain itself is just absolutely gorgeous. You could really use this with just about any pendant and it would be really beautiful. But it comes with this lovely peach colored pendant. Isn't that beautiful? Just beautiful. And the back, it's, a, it's almost like the pendant is hollow and it has this metal filigree look to it. And then right in the middle of all this beauty is this lovely peach colored pendant. It has so much detail to it. Look how much detail this has. And along the sides, it has gold tone accents. It's not all silver. The sides are gold. And then the back is silver again. It has also an adjustable chain and a lobster claw clasp to it. Nice, heavy piece of jewelry. Very substantial. If you were to get this for your girlfriend, she would know as soon as she held it in her hands that it was a fine quality item. And then we have this. This is also from Australia. This is a drop pendant. But see, it's not attached to the necklace itself. This is a pendant. And it has beautiful, absolutely gorgeous rhinestones here, here and then a larger one down at the bottom here. A very thin, but very delicate and elegant necklace. Very shiny. And it only adjusts a little small bit, very tiny amount, only about an inch. And you have to attach it either here or down here. You can't attach it anywhere in the middle. But this will look beautiful with just about anything. I mean, you could wear this with formal wear. You could wear this with a t-shirt. It's one of those rare items that will look good with just about anything. That's something to consider. Oh, and these are tangled up. Here we are. Here's, what's your girlfriend's birthstone? You don't know. Well, what month was she born in? Well, obviously. Uh, well, this won't work for you, but that is a birthstone, but it's still really pretty. Look at this. It's almost like a Christmas wreath, and it's blue, but it has rhinestones in it that are white, and it's very pretty. Look at that. And it comes on a lightweight chain. Very simple, but very elegant at the same time. And it does it kind of it does look it looks like a wreath, doesn't it? But it's so pretty, so beautiful. Look at this. Sort of a an aqua marine color, kind of a, an aqua blue, turquoise blue possibly. And then you have the white interspersed in there in the little circle with the blue. It's just stunning. And it has an adjustable chain also, which is about two inches long, and it has a tiny tiny weight at the end of it and a very small lobster claw clasp. And last but not least, I have this beauty here. Let me fix it for you. I want you to see it in all its glory. So I want to make sure to get it right. Make it look pretty. There we are. Now look here. This necklace is a very unique item. This was handmade in Israel and it has red, um, they're actually glass beads, but they look like garnets on here or rubies. Let's say garnets. Very, very lightweight and delicate and absolutely breathtaking. 
And then down at the bottom, we have this piece. Then we have a red rhinestone right here. And then these three pieces that hang down like a pendant at the bottom. And it also has a um, an adjustable chain here. It's at least two inches. And the lobster claw clasp at the top. And this would look so beautiful with just about anything. This one? Um, I can let this go for $10. Mmm, eight. How about we meet in the middle and say nine? I think you've made a wonderful choice. I think she'll love it. So here, thank you for having the exact change. And here's your necklace. Now hold on to that. Make sure it doesn't get tangled up. Okay. I'm going to place all these back in my bag. And I will make sure to keep it close to my body so it's not uh, taken. Which is why I was had them with me anyway. I was just taking them out for a walk. That way, if anybody broke into my apartment, they wouldn't get them. Exactly. Um... Well, I'm, I'm going to, actually, I think I'm going to, I don't think there's any point in waiting here anymore. Um, I think I'm going to move on. I think I'll just take a walk. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll just walk instead of taking the bus. Yeah. All right, well, I hope your girlfriend has a fantastic birthday. <laughs> and I think the necklace you chose will help with that. I think she will definitely like it. So, enjoy your wait. I think I'm going to go for a walk. <laughs>